Ooh, good morning, everybody. I hope everyone's doing great. Um, today is kind of a game day. Uh, I'm not sure how to explain it. Really. I'll explain more later what I'm talking about. I'm heading to the morning shoot around. Um, the weather here is absolutely crazy today. Wow, welcome to the north of France. Never, I haven't seen weather like this in a really long time. I feel like I feel like I'm in the UK. Uh, no offense to you all living there. And what's ironic is I always tell you guys that it's always raining and there's not a lot of sun here. Well, it's not raining and the sun right there. So I guess technically I can't complain. Uh, okay, now I'll shoot around. Okay, so just arriving here at the gym right now. These are the goals that we play with. One right here and one on the other side. And we kind of have a game tonight, so we had a morning shoot around, but it wasn't like we didn't have to come here. But I thought there'd be some other people here, but there's not, it's only me. So I just told them they can just lower these goals up here. I don't mind shooting on those, but normally shoot around, we always shoot on the goals we're gonna use to play in the game. Okay, so I guess it only is me here. Uh, it's okay, I guess I can rebound for myself. Uh, I always find it really ironic when I get here to train and I'm wearing these shoes and I'm going to change into these shoes to practice. I always feel weird doing that because the shoes that I always play in on the court, I never wear those outside. For example, like the shoes that I practice in and especially the game shoes, they never touch any floor except the basketball court. I'm not saying I'm superstitious, but I never do that. Uh, okay, time for shoot around. Tell you guys what I'm doing today. A uh, little exercise. Um, basically, I'm explaining. This is a little basketball part right now. So if you're not into basketball, just skip forward one minute. Um, basically, you have this is the paint. This is like outside two points. This is three points. So so what I do? Making 50 shots here. Uh, making 50 shots here. Making 25 shots at uh, three point, and making five shots at half court. That's kind of just my exercise for this morning. Thought I would tell you guys if you want to do it. But I have one thing that I do. I have a problem when I shoot is that I miss short a lot. So anytime I miss a ball short, I lose a point. So if I've made 10 and I'm about to shoot to make 11 and it's short, I go back to nine. But if it's not short and I just miss it, then I just, it doesn't count as anything. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Last little part you saw with the ball coming through, coming through. Uh, I was actually shooting free throws at the end. I decided not to shoot the five makes from there because I would lose a lot of time, not the best time management. Better to shoot 50 free throws, probably in the same amount of time, uh, and put my camera under the rim. That way, if I was short or something happened, my camera would be in jeopardy, which made me arch the ball more, which made me concentrate a lot more. Um, went pretty good. Uh, Okay, so my morning training is finished. Um, not sure what's happening the rest of the day. This weather is, I mean, absolutely crazy, but I mean, it gives kind of good lighting because it kind of blocks out the sun and acts as like a filter, such as what I have on this light right here. It's a really bright light, but without the filter, it's even brighter. So I guess that's so I guess that's uh, that's a good thing. Got to see the positive in it. And one kind of thought that I have that I wanted to share with you guys before I get showered and dressed and everything like that is that there there kind of are no guarantees in life. 
Uh, and when I say that, I was thinking of basketball. For example, I was in there this morning shooting, got a lot of shots up, felt really great. Um, but over time, I realized that doesn't guarantee anything. That doesn't guarantee I'm gonna make a shot. That doesn't guarantee that I'm gonna make the game winning shot. That doesn't mean I'm gonna feel great during the, it doesn't, it doesn't guarantee anything. It just increases my chances to be better. And for me right now, that applies to basketball. But for you guys, that could be something else. Uh, just because you, you eat healthy, you work out four days a week, uh, you, you stay in shape all the time, that doesn't guarantee that you're gonna live to be 100. It increases your chances a lot, but it doesn't guarantee it. Uh, I remember back when I was in college training a whole lot, I always went back to the gym around 11 o'clock, midnight, all the time, the, I had, the custodian would always wait for me there, open the door for me. Um, and I'd be there till one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning on some days. Um, and I remember when I had a bad game, I was like, how? I was in the gym until two o'clock in the morning. Like, you know, and it took me a while to click and it's like, there's no guarantees. It just increases your chances. So that's kind of just my thought of the day that I want to share with you guys. Uh, before I get ready to, uh, Start my day. So shower, change, and just want to say all of you guys, because I know there's a lot of you who watch it, who are playing basketball or want to play or anything like that. Ask your questions below, and I'm going to do a little questions and answers in the vlogs coming up where I can answer a lot of your questions about basketball because I know a lot of you all have questions. I get a lot of emails about it. So just leave them below, and I'll get to your questions, uh, yeah, in the upcoming vlogs. And on that note, So I'm on my way to the game, like I said. Uh, just taking a little stop because it's really incredible how here it was so foggy and cold this morning, then it was really cold this afternoon, and now it's evening and I have to be at a game right now, and the weather's absolutely perfect. And seriously, this is all the same day. <laughs> wow. Ah, okay. Normally it's always just me smiling or one other person, but we got a couple people smiling. Good thing. And as I told you guys, today is a game day. Hold on, let me go somewhere where I can talk in private. I gotta say hi to all these people here. Hold on. This is probably the most quiet place I'm gonna get to be able to talk to you guys, but uh, focus for the game, no pressure. Really no pressure, it's a practice game, but just to see how everything goes naturally without forcing anything, without any kind of foreseen plan of uh, before speaking in French, without having any plan before, just go in there and see how it works out. Because you don't get a lot of chances to test it out because every game is pressure, every game is focus, every game is like that. But to have a practice game like this in the middle of the season is great. So I'm gonna go out there, play naturally, without thinking, without thinking, without thinking, and just play. Uh, I'll talk to you guys after the game. Game's finished. Uh, oh, it wasn't so great of a game. I mean, I know it wasn't a real game, but at the same time, uh, you know, the attitudes, once the ball's thrown up, you know, we gotta be ready. And I don't know, I started off the game not, not too great again. Um, uh, no, maybe I don't know when I try to think of some advice to give. It was just really frustrating, you know, when you got voices and people and a lot of different outside things, but never let anything get in here. I hope I make sense, you know. Uh, this is literally five minutes after the game when I'm talking. Uh, yeah, and I just let too many things get in here. And, and to be successful, you really gotta be closed here, but open at the same time. You know, you gotta take everything in, but filter it out properly. And if you don't filter it out properly, kind of how your body does, then you can, it, it doesn't do anything good for your body. You know, if you don't, your body doesn't filter things right, you have kidney problems, and you're gonna have problems with your body, serious problems. And it's the same with things that come in outside forces. And uh, yeah, I gotta just be more, uh, gotta be more ready to, to, to deal with that and not get shaken or change my attitude or anything like that, but <sighs> tough game. Uh, yeah, I'm putting the camera away. I'll, I'll talk to you guys in, uh, in a little bit. Uh, hold on, let me get this a little bit better. Uh, okay, it's a little bit late. It is 1.57 in the morning. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit better. Sorry, I don't have my mic on here, so if it sounds weird. So like I said, it's about 1.57 in the morning. Uh, feeling a little bit better. I just guess uh, 
as I said, just got too many things, too too much. Just uh, that's the best. That's literally the best way I can describe it. Uh, talking about the basketball world, you know. But once I step away from the court and I leave the gym, all that's a different world. And now I'm in this world right now. I know it sounds weird, but that's kind of how I am. But still, just just uh, it bothers me some. It bothers me sometimes when I get, let those things get to me when they usually don't. You know. Um, I guess sometimes I take things too seriously, so I should have kind of watched yesterday's vlog. I need to watch it, so I realized not to take it so seriously, but I'm okay. Don't feel bad for me. Everything's okay. It's going to be okay. Um, just got to work on a couple of things, and uh, yeah, um, probably going to end the vlog here because believe it or not, even though we did have a game today, we have an early morning training, uh, and then not sure what's going on, but I'll let you guys know. Don't worry. Uh, on that note, I am super, super tired, but I want to thank you guys for, thank you guys for being there with me today. Thank you guys for listening when I like vent to you guys. Uh, it really helps me to feel better. You know, I have certain people that I can talk to in life about certain things and everything, but it always feels great to have you guys to talk to. And so I want to thank you for that. And uh, yeah. I will speak to you guys later. I'm gonna go get some rest now. And everyone, always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. <laughs> Ciao.